report that you saw was for our own station in Omaha and what I would do for CBS then is turn around and do that same story or a version of it live for a variety of other affiliates across the Midwest. So those are the big differences in presentation. What I'd really like for you to do is, and I think Jack can fill in a lot of the holes that I left along the way, but why don't you tell them about what happens with your day because you're back at the studio. Uh, yeah, I was a specialized editor. Uh, I worked in, Houston is the ninth largest market, which when you start off, you want to start off in a small market because in a, in a small market, you do everything. And uh, the, the videographers would go out and shoot. They would come in and edit. Uh, and, and that way you get a background in, in you know, all the various stages of production. But uh, in a larger market, you start specializing. You have a separate producer, a separate reporter, a separate shooter. And then it comes in and it goes through an editor, which uh, then the shooter goes off and shoots another, another story to bring back to go to another editor. Uh, that way it maximizes the, the number of stories you can have coming in. But uh, I would come in at 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, the reporters would start coming in, as Stacy said, about 3 o'clock and start going over, their, um, going over their, their tape and writing their scripts and doing what's called tracking, is doing the reporter's narration. Um, I would edit for the 5 o'clock news. Then we had a... Uh, a hour newscast at six. We went from six to seven, and then we had the ten o'clock newscast. What would be wonderful is if you came in and you could start editing at two thirty. But uh, and every once in a while that happened. But most of the time, uh, the reporters are coming in, and you start seeing tape along about four o'clock for a five o'clock newscast. Uh, if you want to get run over really good, <laughs> walk into a newsroom about four o'clock in the afternoon when they've got a five o'clock newscast coming up. Because it starts getting crazy, um, it's in full, it's in full kilt as far as as working. Uh, everyone's running around and um, getting stories ready for the five o'clock. And about the time five o'clock rolls around, then you're starting to get ready for the six o'clock. And uh, one thing you have to be able to, if you're going to be in the news business, you have to handle stress, because uh, one of the most stressful places you can work is the newsroom. Uh, and you know, all the way from the news director on down, uh, it's you're, you've got a deadline. I mean, five o'clock comes around, newscast is on, whether you're ready or not. Six o'clock comes around, newscast goes on, whether you're ready or not. You will only miss that deadline once. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only once. Hopefully, you won't do that <laughs> though. But yeah, and uh, but there, uh, it's a very stressful situation. You're constantly, uh, you've got the deadline pressure. Um, doing an hour newscast, we would usually, at 6 o'clock, we'd usually have about 20 minutes of the newscast edited. So at 6 o'clock, you're editing for 6.20. And uh, that really puts you under, under deadline pressure. Once you get through the, the uh, 7 o'clock, or when 7 o'clock rolls around and it's time for, you, you get a half hour for lunch or dinner or whatever, and then you're editing for the 10 o'clock newscast. And you're generally editing up till, uh, you know, 10.15, 10.20 to finish off the 10 o'clock newscast. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's fun, actually, if you, if you can survive it. Uh, lots of activity, lots of crazy things going on. It's, it's kind of like if you ever see the movie Broadcast News. Broadcast News is a fairly accurate representation of... You, you of, do run with your tapes. Yes, you do run with your tapes. Uh, I understand you all are thinking about doing a newscast next year. Is that right? That's right. Hey, well, I taught for 15 years at Friendswood High School, which is a uh, town in the outskirts of Houston, kind of a suburb. And we used to produce, not used to, they still do, uh, produce a daily newscast, which uh, have an example of the March 30th newscast from last year.
Kristen Huff, and here are the morning announcements. Friendswood has been hosting the UIL district competition this past week. In yesterday's academic competition, Candy Bennett won first place, Kevin Beck placed fourth, and Wendy Ward placed fifth in literary criticism. During spring break, the King Royal Circus came to town. They pitched their tent early in the morning and began their preparation for the shows. Jamie Otto caught the show and some of the action and filed this report. Many parents and their children had a fun time at the Three Ring Circus located behind the football field. Circus, I guess, is just a, a traveling show of where they we have a, a bunch of performers, clowns, and uh, trapeze act or the acrobats. This is Ben, Jamie Otto reporting, Hi. MCS News. Did you notice during school there was a group of men working out in the front of the building, putting up a sign? The sign reads, Academic Decathlon State Champions 1993-1994. The sign's purpose is to recognize Friendswood High School's academic excellence. Friendswood High School's drama department has been very busy the last two weeks. Heather Jeans is standing by in the auditorium. Heather? Thanks, Kristen. The One Egg Play cast has been awing audiences and wowing the judges. Clarissa Reyes attended a rehearsal and filed this report. This year's One Act Play, The State of Revolution, by Robert Bold, advanced... And we're coming back to Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. Matt Youngblood, who plays Joseph Stalin, and Tanya Santilli, who plays Lennon's wife, Krupskaya. Okay, this is a double story. This will be the last time that will be sold for this price. Back to you, Kristen. Monday, after school, a cheerleading clinic was held in the girls' gym for all potential JV and varsity cheerleaders. The senior cheerleaders helped all who were present. Everyone will be trying out in front of the judges next Wednesday. That's when they will find out if their hard work has paid off. That's Morning Update for this week. Jamie Otto will be here next week. And until then, have a fantastic Easter break. The, the guy in the control room was giving me a hard time. I have to, to note that the picture quality is generally a whole lot better than that. That's about five generations off of a VHS, which once you start working, you will find out that uh, every time you make a copy of a tape, you'll lose a little bit of picture quality. There's some real red pictures in there. Uh, if you're seeing it live, um, it, it doesn't look quite... <laughs> quite, the video isn't quite as far off, but uh, roll the credits at the end to show you how many people it involves to put together a student broadcast, which uh, that's kind of some of the stuff you can look forward to doing next year.